This is a Rutke Mods video. Hello, I'm Greg Rutke of Rutke Mods, and welcome to episode 2 of my 32-bit CPU Mac series. This episode is going to be a quick episode explaining to you why we need to move off of OS X 10.6.8 and why we need to go to a newer operating system like Windows. You can also go to Linux, but I will not be showing you how to do that because I'm not that great with Linux yet. And Macs are complex when it comes to installing Linux, and Linux doesn't tend to like Intel Macs. You can still do it though, and there's many tutorials online, and if I ever learn how to do it properly, I can show a video of it, but be warned if I ever do that. The video may not apply to your specific Mac, and if you use a different Linux distro than I do, it may not work at all for you anyway. So why should we move off OS X 10.6.8? The biggest reasons are support and security. The very last security update for OS X 10.6.8 came out in 2013. That was three years ago. In fact, it came out around this time in 2013, so it was exactly three years ago. That means that you're vulnerable for security attacks. Also, like stated in the previous video, the very last web browser I believe available, Firefox, has dropped support for it. So we don't even have a secure browser anymore. With software support, most people now online do not make any software that supports 10.6.8 and even though the Mac App Store was recently updated earlier this year for Snow Leopard there wasn't much of a point in doing it because most people who are on Snow Leopard have a 32-bit CPU Mac so the Mac App Store update didn't help because most apps on the App Store in fact Basically, 99% of them require 64-bit. Even if the app says it supports 10.6.6 or newer, that doesn't mean it will work on your Mac. In fact, I've tested this theory and tried to download many applications that say they support 10.6 and to find out that they only support 64-bit 10.6 or in this case, any 64-bit CPU Mac, because the 32-bit version of Snow Leopard can run 64-bit applications. So, with all this said and done, you can still have 10.6 Snow Leopard on your Mac just to do things Mac-wise and to run older software written for your Mac. But... To use it as a day-to-day -day operating system, it's not safe, and you can't use anything new. So, this is where Windows comes in. You can still install a 32-bit copy of Windows 10, and it will work great. You'll have all of the security and software support, and all the programs you would like to run should, in fact, run fine on 32-bit Windows, of course, as long as it supports 32-bit to begin with. So, you will be more secure running Windows than you will running OS X. So in the next episode, I will start showing you how to install Windows 10. Anyway, that is the end of the video, and thank you for watching. This has been a Rutke Mods video.